forests and wildlife. When we hear the term wildlife, it generally refers to large ferocious animals living in jungles and forests such as tigers, lions, elephants, wolves, etc. But in fact, wildlife implies to any living organism in its natural habitat which includes all plants, animals and microorganisms except cultivated plants and domesticated animals. From ecological viewpoint, wildlife is a renewable resource. The conservation of wildlife is required for the following benefits. The wildlife helps us in maintaining the balance of nature. Once this equilibrium is disturbed, it leads to many problems. The destruction of carnivores or insectivores often leads to the increase of herbivores which in turn affect the forest vegetation or crops. The wildlife can be used commercially to earn more and more money. It can increase our earnings of foreign exchange by tourism. The wildlife of India is our cultural asset and has deep-rooted effect on Indian art, sculpture, literature and religion. For the judicious use of resources, the scientists from nearly 100 countries of the world have formulated some conservation strategies. Few of the steps proposed to save the existing species of the wildlife are given below. The feeding, breeding and resting areas of species should be safeguarded. Several measures have been prescribed for the conservation of the forests. They are as follows. The trees cut down for timber or other uses should be matched with planting of more trees so that there is no scarcity. The use of fuel wood and wood charcoal should be discouraged. The conventional sources of energy should be tapped. Biogas should be employed for cooking to lessen the consumption of fuel wood.